Finally tonight, course correction. Have you ever been on a long drive, taken a wrong turn, and gotten lost? I have, more than once. I always make it to my destination, but I could have gotten there much sooner had I just stopped going in the wrong direction, like my wife suggested, and made a course correction, even if it meant turning around to get on the right road. Changing direction can be humbling. You have to admit to passengers that you made a mistake, or at least acknowledge that circumstances changed, forcing you to alter your preferred route. I think we've seen some of that this past week. It's a good sign. School districts across the Tampa Bay area have been adjusting their reopening plans. Many have now pushed back their start dates by a couple of weeks and given parents more options for educating their children. Governor DeSantis may be behind the wheel driving to reopen schools, but teachers and parents are beginning to navigate. And to their credit, school administrators are listening. As for this lingering pandemic, it might have you feeling like an uneasy passenger, twisting and turning down roads you've never been on before. You may find yourself questioning the driver's sense of direction. It can feel a bit reckless at times, and you want to hit the brakes. I get it. But this is no time to blindly follow gut instincts. That's why most of the time I stay buckled up, trusting the experts to get me where I need to go. I do find comfort knowing that we're on this journey together. Despite the delays, the missed turns and detours, I still believe we'll get to our final destination. I just hope those in the driver's seat worry less about hitting political potholes and make the necessary course corrections to get us there safely.